All right, welcome campers and DIY enthusiasts to Mike Jordan Uncomplicated. Today I'm going to change this tiny little childlike faucet into something more usable. All right, anybody that has one of these knows how frustrating this is. The, the water's not on now because I'm getting ready to change this faucet, but and you want to wash your hands, you can't even get your hands under there. You got to even against the back of the sink you can barely get it under the faucet so we're going to fix that today all right let's take a peek under the sink so open up here um that's a pretty cool toilet paper hanger if uh, anybody wants one i'll try to put a link in the description <clears throat> no place in here where one was ever mounted so that just makes it simple open the door there it is <clears throat> but if we look under here there is also, you can see the red and the blue uh, hot and cold lines. They go up, it's kind of dark back there. I get some light, I guess. But they go up uh, to the sink faucet and there is no shut off. All right, that would not be allowed in residential construction. So I'm gonna install a shut off while I'm at it today. Uh, so in case there's ever a leak, you don't have to cut off the whole camp, the water to the whole camper and you just cut off the water to the faucet. Okay, here's what we're using today. Got the faucet. It's just a uh, got it from Amazon. I'll try to put a link for all this in the description below. But I uh, found it in, a, in some of the RV forums. Several people had recommended it, so I guess it must be the one. Didn't cost very much, maybe 30 bucks. Um, so there is the faucet. It comes with um, these installation uh, lines and a couple fittings. I don't think I'll need. And actually, it comes with Teflon tape. And then separately, did not come with the faucet. I bought some shark bike fittings, also I guess on Amazon. And then I've got um, my tool for working on PEX plumbing. Uh, I've got a crimper. Don't we won't need today, but it's got a cutter where we'll cut that PEX that's uh, already in there to install our valves and then our faucet. So there's all the goodies. Let's get rolling. All right, up here. It's uh, almost impossible to get my hand and the camera in there at the same time, but these come loose by hand, which is a good thing. I don't have to get a tool up there. So all I gotta do is pull one on and then uh, uh, reach over here. And yeah, the other one comes loose too. So just unscrew that. All right, oh, there goes water. All right, so both of those loose and reach up here and see. Oh, there's no way I can get. There is a nut right here at the base of this faucet. And I can turn that by hand. Again, another good thing. Can't see too much, I don't think, but. That on. All right, and there's a nut I just pulled off. Now I'll go do the other one. We'll make you watch it. All right, got the uh, supply lines disconnected and the nuts disconnected underneath. And then voila, it's that simple. It took all of maybe two minutes and it's out. And then side by side, I guess we can kind of tell how much larger this uh, overhang and extension from this uh, new faucet is compared to the old one. So it's uh, something I'll be able to get my hands under, I do believe. All right, the new faucet, it's got the same uh, large plastic nuts as the old one, so we just take those off. And then there's some small rubber washers, make sure those stay on the uh, on the nut side on the underside of the sink when you install it 
and then there's a gasket that goes on the bottom of the uh, of the faucet so bottom of the faucet top of the sink now make sure that stays in that position all right the new faucet uh, these supply lines the steel braided supply lines they go direct onto the faucet um, as opposed to that solid piece of PEX come up and, and uh, screwed onto the uh, to this other uh, faucet so <clears throat> Uh, the end has a different fitting and that's going to fit these shark bite valves that I bought. All right, this shark bite valve, fix my camera so I can see what the heck I'm doing at the same time I'm showing you. All right, shark bite valve, this end um, fits onto the PEX. It just slides on and locks in place. There's no tools or other fittings required. Uh, we'll show you that here in a minute and then this uh, side that same steel supply line that come with the faucet um, that nut's gonna have to come off it's already made onto this faucet but it goes on to this end and then of course in between is the valve so that would be off uh, turn that what whoops I'm keep it in the screen turn it uh, point in the same direction as the pipe that's on point it so it's crossing the pipe that's off so again we'll have a shut off valve under the sink should we ever uh lose plumbing and need to um uh, shut off that or should we ever have a leak excuse me and then need to shut off the sink without having to cut off the entire water supply to the camper all right the only thing that may be easier about the straight pex fitting is this fitting was um, I can you can hand tighten and untighten so what I've done is I've gone ahead and installed the line on the faucet before I drop it in the sink just use a little crescent wrench to tighten that up <clears throat> and then just one more thing to kind of point out if uh, if you look this faucet is marked with the red dot and it's hot that one's marked with the blue dot I guess we can see that that's cold and then if you look at the the steel braided lines they're also marked red and blue for hot and cold and then we saw our pecs earlier was red and blue and hot and cold so just make sure you line everything up or match up all your your colors like uh you did in the coloring book and everything will be hooked up correctly when you're done all right so now if i can do this one hand in there's our faucet we've got our supply lines connected up i'm going to just lift it up well that's not gonna work so i'm just gonna try to all right, so our blue goes to the right. I'm going to drop that down the hole. And our red goes to the left. We're going to push that down in the hole. And then we just grab our faucet. There's our plate that goes on the bottom. Drop down, that's fine. And then uh, just uh, slide it onto the counter. And boom! That part's done. It couldn't be much easier. And man, look. Just already how much room I got to get my hands under that. So now let's, uh, we need to head under the sink. All right, under the sink, here's our stainless steel braided lines kind of dangling down. And our pecs with the fittings that connect to the old faucet are way up there. So down here somewhere, I'm going to cut this pex and put in that uh, shark bite valve. And then connect these fittings to the valve. That'll kind of bow up. You can kind of see that line up there somewhere. That's fine. Doesn't hurt anything. So it'll uh, it'll be there like that. So now the fun part. We'll cut. All right. Here we are back into the sink. So here's my valves again. Up there is the end that connected to the pipe. But I'm just going to pick a spot that that I can get to again should I ever need to access that valve so this pipe is kind of flexible and moves around so about right where my fingers are I can bend this over and get to that valve in about any position I need to so then I'm going to come in and about right there we'll put in my pex cutter and make sure it's as square as it can be to the pipe and then just squeeze like a pair of scissors and there it goes with some water so again there's the end that was on that faucet a minute ago and here is uh, this piece of pex so don't throw that away hide that someplace in your camper so you have it uh, if you get a leak someplace 
you can repair it. All right, one more look at the shark bite valve before we install it. All right, we need to take this off because that's where the supply line for our faucet is going to thread onto. It's already got that fitting on that stainless steel line. And then on this end of the shark bite valve, this piece is kind of a decorative cover, but it also serves the function to remove this from the pipe should uh, you ever need to in the future. So uh, we'll pop that back on after we get it onto the PEX. All right, there's our two pipes that we cut. All right, here's our shark bite valve, and this one, this is what makes them so great. It's a tiny little space in here. You guys wouldn't believe I got this camera in my hands in here, if you could see better, but this is as good as it's gonna get. And then we just set it onto the pipe and then push it down. And you almost feel two stops. So you wanna get it to the second stop and that's on there so that's all there is to the valve I'll go uh, do the other one all right so second valve again kind of face it towards us they will move some after you get them on but kind of face the shutoff towards us and then give it a push and again you'll feel kind of a double stop you want to get to the bottom of the second stop all right the last thing before we connect up water is we've got to get that faucet bolted down to the sink and if you remember we had to unscrew these off of the old one these are new but same same design on the old one so that fits over this line that hanging down from the faucet and then we're just going to run it all the way up and you never see and hook it to the faucet so again i can't get my hands and the camera in there but you get the picture you just screw it back onto the faucet so the faucet is secured to the sink base I right, got the hot side on. Now, just reach in and get the cold side on. <clears throat> All right. So we're we'll tighten that up with a wrench. And then we need to do the water test. It's a summer day. All right, my assistant is outside that window. Oh. What? <laughs> okay, turn it on. Okay. Yeah, it's on? Yeah. All right, so the water is on. I'm talking to the camera. Water is on, uh, but these valves are off and there is no leaks. So that's a good sign. So I'm gonna turn valves on, turn that valve on. Gosh, I can't move this one. One handed. Oh, there we go. All right, got that one on. All right. I don't see anything dripping up there yet. I'm up here. And on. Turn that on. All right, turn that off. Turn that off. No drips. No drips. I think we can claim success. All right, and look at this. The faucet 
I can get my hands under here like a real sink. Yay! So there it is, a Rio faucet installed on a small sink, but uh, at least it's operational now. So next, uh, I'm doing a water sensor on my fresh tank. Opeka is going to hook to my servo. Try that out. If it works good, I'll do the gray and the black. So like and subscribe. Lots of other good videos on the channel. Many more to come. If we don't see you in the campground, we'll see you on the next video.